What does Robert Bartow say about vihuela technique? First of all, what's a vihuela? Vihuela was an instrument popular in Spain in the 15th and 16th centuries. It had either five or six courses, that is five or six pairs of strings. The six course version would be somewhat like a, a modern 12 string guitar, but a bit smaller. And uh, the popular composers for this instrument in the time were uh, Luis Milan, Alonso Midara, and others. And I recently heard an interesting lecture by Robert Bartow, early music specialist, explaining some of the techniques used. I've typically heard that vihuela and lute would use uh, thumb index alternation with the thumb down behind the index finger, and that flesh would be used rather than nail. And Bartow basically confirmed that that was likely the preference. Thumb index alternation playing the scales with thumb under using flush. However, he provided some interesting references that indicate there might have been more diversity of practice than I might have thought. He quoted a source from Venegas de Enestrosa of 1557, who said there were four ways of doing passage work. Uh, the first way was actually the dio, that is strumming up and down with a single finger like the index finger sort of like playing with a plectrum or pick, which was also done in that time. Um, but the idea of playing the Dio uh, was that you just use that single finger uh, back and forth to pluck. Uh, interestingly, Bartow noted that most likely what we think of as an upstroke was used as the downstroke on the beat. So this would be on the beat, off the beat, 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 which again is different than the way we typically play with a pick today. Uh, so Didio was the first way that Venegas de Anastrosa talked about uh, playing passage worker scales. Uh, the second way he talked about was indeed doing thumb index alternation, but actually with the thumb outside the index finger, uh, much like we do uh, in modern classical guitar. Then the third way he talked about was having the thumb under, uh, which again, a lot of times when we think about the technique of the 16th century, that's what we expect is thumb kind of hiding under the index finger. Uh, and plucking, so down like that. Or the uh, fourth way that Venegas de Anastrosa talked about playing passage worker scales is actually index middle alternation, which is the go-to way that modern classical guitar players will finger scales. Uh, so fascinating information there. Um, as far as nails, again, the preference was no nails back then, but there was an interesting quote uh, by Funyana from 1554 which says, to strike with a stroke without the intrusion of the nail or any other kind of contrivance has great excellence because only in the finger, as a living thing, the spirit lies. Well, what strikes me about that quote, it's so passionate in defending the use of flesh and plucking that it implies that some players were probably using nail. It, of course, doesn't confirm that, but the implication seems to be that some players may have been using nail. So again, Bartos. Uh, recommendation would be that a player seeking to imitate the Uela technique would use thumb under, would use flush, and would use PI alternation. But there seemed to have been more diversity of practice in the Uela technique than I had previously understood. So fascinating to hear that from an early music specialist like Robert Barto. So have some fun playing some Vihuela repertoire, some of the pieces of Milan or Mudara, and keep making music. By the way, if you enjoy these videos, don't forget to subscribe. SeanBeavers.us slash subscribe.